Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, so today's video is just going to be kind of a little show-off video. I ordered one orchid from an eBay seller and she was so kind as to send me two free plants along with it. So I just figured I would show those off to you guys because one of them is really exciting. So let's go. Alright, so here they are. Um, so I initially intended to do an actual unboxing video, but the box kind of sat outside for a day because I didn't really have a chance to get to it. So I just figured that I was going to unbox them really quick and make sure that they were okay and not really worry about doing a video, you know. So I went along and repotted them and everything so they are all good to go, but let me show you. So the orchid that I actually ordered was this tiny little Phalaenopsis. It's so cute. I'm in love with it. Um, and this is a Phalaenopsis Bellina, Phalaenopsis Bellina variety Cerulea by Cell. so cute. I did think it was going to be a little bit bigger, but I'm not mad because it's really adorable. Um, so I already repotted it. I put it into semi-hydro just because I don't trust myself with Phalaenopsis species yet. They're just a little bit more finicky. So I figured I would put it in semi-hydro. It's kind of an interesting little setup I have going for it. I just reused the pot that it was in, and then I have it in this decorative pot with a water reservoir at the bottom. Lots of air holes, so there's still a lot of circulation and then I can just kind of see where the water level's at so it keeps it nice and wet all the time just because these little guys really love, 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 love moisture. Um, so that's that guy. That's the one that I actually paid for. And like I said, she was so kind as to include two free plants. Um, I'll start with this one. So she sent me what looks to be a little tiny African violet seedling or division. It was potted. I'll kind of explain. So she had it in two... I can't get them apart but two pots and one of them was on top so it made a little greenhouse and sadly all the dirt kind of got jumbled up and I know African violets don't like their leaves to be wet and I'm pretty sure that most of these leaves aren't gonna make it just because they got pretty damaged from all the dirt everywhere but if you can see there we go it looks like there's some new growth down in there that should be okay one of the leaves also separated as well, that one. So I'm hoping that that one might root, but I don't know too much about African violets. I just know they like to be watered from the bottom. So I have this little setup going that's actually a water reservoir down there. And so it kind of gives it constant moisture. I'm excited about that one. I don't know anything about the color or anything, but I'm excited. I'm gonna give it a shot and see how it goes. But yeah, super excited. Now this one is the one that kind of blew my mind a little bit that she said. So when I opened it, I kind of was like, okay, maybe a Phragmopedium, something like that. And I looked at the tag. I'll just show you really quick. Where is it at? Boom, boom, boom. So this is a Paphopedilum Lyro Blackhawk. I'll include a picture. But this is a kind of Paphopedilum that I've been wanting for a while. Not necessarily this one specifically, but just the kind of flower that it has. Um, it's super pretty, like I said, I'll include a picture, but I've already repotted it into just something a little bit more wet, just because Paphopedilums love a lot of moisture. And then I think I just have it sitting on top of this pot and then there just for some added humidity. Um, it's not sitting in water, it's just to kind of always make sure there's a lot of humidity around it. Super excited about this one, it's super adorable. Look at how tiny it is next to my finger. It's so small, but I'm super excited about it. I'm so glad that she sent me these two. Again, African Violet, we'll see what happens with that. I don't have too much confidence in it, but I'm just really hoping that that new little leaf down there will do something. It had some roots, so we'll see what happens. But I'm excited for both of these. This one, I'm gonna, I don't know, I'm gonna hope for a spike maybe in a couple years, but until then, I'm just gonna try and keep it as happy as possible. But these are my plants, two of which for free. Super excited about them, thank you so much. I'll include the name of the eBay seller in the description below just because she was so gracious and kind. Uh, shipping was super fast, oh my gosh, got here in like two days from Florida. So that was pretty amazing. They were also packed extremely well. Like all of the media was taped in. There was cotton on top to like hold in all of the bark. So these two actually were really great when they got here, perfect shape. This one just not 
so much. It's just so small and so delicate that it kind of got beat up a little bit. But yeah, great seller, great plants. I'm super happy. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like it. Let me know in the comments what you might want to see in the future. Love you guys. I'll see you later.